For days, no one knew who she was. A 24-year-old woman found murdered Thursday night along with a man in his Johnston County home. The murder was so brutal, it took several days for her family to learn that she was even a victim. Tonight, our Steve Spraja speaks with them about their loss. It took till this weekend to identify Jessica Payette because of her head wounds, according to her family. But they couldn't identify her through seeing her. It had to be done from what I was told through tattoos and fingerprints. Jessica's family says it was hairstyling which brought her to the fatal encounter at Matt Jones' home. She was there doing someone's hair. <laughs> she loved doing hair. She braided my hair all the time. So that seems to be the only connection she had with the, the fellow who was murdered, right? Yes. Investigators tell me they have worked this case nonstop ever since the murders were first discovered here and now Jessica Payette's family says they are anxious for an arrest. There's some sick people out there. All I can say is I hope they catch them and that the system does what has to be done to make them pay for what they've done because they took two lives. Tonight, the families of Jessica Payette and Matt Jones are connected by grief. Grief for lives lost and potential unfulfilled. They won't see their children anymore. They won't see their family anymore, and it's just not right. Tonight, detectives say they're making headway, but they could use more public input. In Johnston County, Steve Sprazier, CBS, North Carolina.